Camellias produce very pretty flowers and they have color when other plants are not showing any color during the cooler months. But you know, for all this beauty, they also have their problems, which is a topic of our two minute pests. And Celeste and I have gathered together a, a bunch of camellia problems here. They're not major things normally, except the one you have, and that can be bad. Yeah, and this one, I think the first thing you notice is the discoloration on the top. Oh, I do. And yeah. that's because there's a piercing, sucking mouth part insect underneath. Yep. called T-scale. Yep. When I'm going through a camellia planting, that's where my eyes are. I'm looking for mm -hmm. the tops of the leaves. You can see the difference here. Mm -hmm. One has the yellow streaks and this one here is plain green. And then look how infested oh, yeah. from the underside of the leaf and all these little white and black are the male and females of this scale insect, T-scale. And it's a key pest of camellias. It is, it's and a major it's, pest. And it is, and it's it's probably um, a little harder to control. You can try natural controls like mm -hmm. oils. Oil, if you can hit them. You can hit them, and coverage, gotta get good coverage underneath. But if you can't, you might wanna use a systemic, systemic insecticide oil for you. that becomes part of the plant yeah. sap. And, you know what I notice also is with these uh, T-scale, it's normally on a portion of the plant that doesn't get a lot of uh, air movement or shade, rain, shade, protected. those type yes, situations. Yes, yes. Yep. Now here's a, a camellia, a lot of people won't know which one it is, but it's actually T, which yes. is kind of, it's a real T, tiny little T leaves. And on this one here, I picked up the algal leaf spot, and you can see it on the surface of the leaf, all those little portions right there. And that's an algae and a fungus yes, living together. in a symbiotic relationship. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is. Do it you is. worry about it? No, I don't worry about it. It's usually on areas, again, that are in shade, unthrifty, or a little just, you know, protected for some yeah. reason. Be careful what you say about my tea plant. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one we have here is called bull nosing, and this is on varieties that are late uh, season varieties, and the, the flowers just don't open up. It can become a, a problem for those. You know what I tell people with those? Yeah, uh, take the, dig the plant up and give it to a friend up north. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good so, solution. So anyway, uh, the camellias can be mighty pretty and the flowers often fall apart on this Sasanqua, uh, but it's one that can have a few problems. And so if you do, just see your extension service or use some of the tips that we've given you.